Hi, I'm Elvin and I'm from Melbourne. I'm a dancer, visual artist, theatre performer and costume maker. I really love fashion history and I've studied set and costume design. So in my free time, I've been making costumes in a different scale. This time I'd like to show you my artwork on these dolls. I've been exploring how to make costumes in doll sizes. I previously made clothes for Barbie, but she's very small. So I decided that figures of this size are much better for this project. I've dressed these four dolls in different 19th century styles. The first style is from the 1830s and it's known as romantic style. This daywear has some specific details from that time. The big puffed sleeves are called jigo sleeves. They had high waists, which were always belted, and wide necklines called boat necks. This has a lace cape over the shoulders and a decorative lace collar. Fabric was always patterned with little designs printed on. Hairstyles were high and round with voluminous shapes, sometimes adorned with a feather or other accessory, inspired by historical Chinese hairstyles for women. Next, in the 1840s, was the early Victorian style. The sleeves were less puffy and the lower sleeve was also tighter. There were V shapes on the neck and the waist. Skirts were fuller with a round bell shape. Details were often folded and gathered, like you can see here. And hairstyles of this time could have ringlets at the front and a high bun at the back. The third style is from the 1860s, mid-Victorian style. This example is a summer dress from the well-known movie Gone with the Wind. It's actually my favorite film. This style has an even fuller skirt made with crinolines. The silhouette here is oval shaped. It's a little wider at the back. And they used a lot of silk fabrics, which were in fashion at the time. Hair was gathered at the lower back of the head, as you can see here, and was held in place by a hairnet known as a snood and arranged to cover the ears. The fourth style is typical of the 1890s, the late Victorian style. Distinctive silhouette had an S shape with very tight waists. It was known as a tailored style, copied from men's suits and adapted to a feminine shape with 
uh, blouses and high collars. Women like this were called Gibson girls, which was a kind of newly independent young woman who could vote and was well educated. The puffy sleeves are reminiscent of the style in the 1830s, but with tighter forearms from the elbow down. It's known as a leg of mutton sleeve. And the skirts, as you can see, were flatter, still slightly fuller at the back. Long hair was gathered into an updo like this. That's it. I hope you enjoyed my artwork with these costumes and maybe even learn something about fashion history. I'd really like to make more to show you in future. Thanks for watching. Bye.